Within hours of the horrific attack by Hamas, the U.S. began moving warships and aircraft to the region to be ready to provide Israel with whatever it needs to respond. A second U.S. Korea strike group departs from Norfolk, Virginia on Friday. Scores of aircraft are heading to U.S. military bases around the Middle East and special operations forces are now assisting Israel's military in planning and intelligence. The build-up reflects U.S. concern that the deadly fighting between Hamas and Israel could escalate into a more dangerous regional conflict. So the primary mission for those ships and warplanes for now is to establish a force presence that deters Hezbollah, Ilan or others from taking advantage of the situation. But the forces the U.S. sent are capable of more than that. The U.S. is also expediting the shipment of mutations and interceptors for Israel's fight against Hamas. The U.S. is providing some personal and much-needed mutations to Israel. Defense Secretary Lady Yod Austin announced that a small cell of special operations forces was now assisting Israel with intelligence and planning. They have not been tasked with hostage rescue, contrary to some reporting. A defense official said could if they were requested to do so. The U.S. is also getting U.S. defense companies to expedite weapons orders by Israel that were already on the books. Chief among those is getting mutations for Israel's Iron Dome air defense system shed along. President Joe Biden said Tuesday that resupplying Iron Dome mutations and air defense systems was an immediate priority. Iron Dome's missiles target rockets that approach one of its cities. According to Raytheon, Israel has 10 Iron Dome systems in place to protect its cities. Beginning with Saturday's attack, Hamas has fired more than 5,000 rockets at Israel, most of which the system has been able to intercept according to Israel's defense forces. Raytheon produces most of the missile companies for Iron Dome in the U.S. and the Army has two Iron Dome systems in its stockpile. One of the most visible examples of the U.S. response was the announcement Sunday by the Pentagon to redirect the Gerard R. Ford Korea Strike Group to sail toward Israel. The Korea has just completed an exercise with the Italian Navy when the ship and its crew of about 5,000 were ordered to quickly sail to the Eastern Mediterranean. The Korea provides a host of options. It's a primary command and control operations center and can conduct information warfare. It can launch and recover E-2 hockey severance planes recognized by their 24-foot diameter disc-shaped rudder. The planes provide earlier warnings on missiles launches, conduct surveillance, and manage the airspace detecting not only enemy aircraft but also directing u.s movements the ford careers f-18 fighter jets that could fly intercept all strike targets the korea also has significant capabilities for humanitarian work including an onboard hospital with an ICU and emergency room, and about 40 medics, surgeons, and doctors. It sells with helicopters that can be used to airlift critical supplies in or victims out. The USS Dwight D. Korea Strike Group will leave its home port of Norfolk, Virginia, and sail for the Mediterranean potentially doubling the Navy's Israel response.